G'day, Tex. You look very G'day, relaxed Dix. in holiday mode. Yeah, very, very relaxed. Yeah, actually. all right. Let's go back a week or so. Uh, mm-hmm. The resignation of Don Pike. Yeah. Can I ask you, when you heard the news, what, what was your thought? What did you think about his time at the Adelaide Football Club? Um, yeah, I remember it was the day that it happened. He, he gave us uh, all the leaders a call and um, he rang me and I was a bit jovial. He said, what are you up to? And just been to my accountants and um, he said, I've got a bit of news to tell you. And, and then he broke down and um, I had a tear in my eye and um, Ellie was sitting next to me in the car when we were driving and she broke down as well. It's, I found it very, uh, very sad um, for a bloke that has done so much for our footy club and um, he's got, he's a great character and he's one of those coaches that never wanted fame. He never wanted to do it for the money. He was always yep. here to help us get better as footballers. But what I really liked about him, he cared about you as, as a bloke and he wanted you to become a better person. And um, it's sad that he thinks that he can't be part of the solution um, going forward. So he's made his decision and um, I respect that. Mm. Tex, I hope you don't mind me sharing this, but you know, there's a lot of speculation, isn't there, amongst supporters and members and everyone thinks they're an expert and People saying, oh, he'd lost the players or some players didn't like him or rah, rah, rah. But you actually sent me a message that night and you said, be nice to our coach on air next morning. And I took out of that that, and I messaged back and I said, of course I will. But I took out of that that you did really rate him and respect him. And and the story you've just told me, I didn't know. And that's a great story, a great reaction. Yeah, I, I love him. Um, it's sad that he, he's got to move on and he's decided that he can't help us going forward um, because he's a great fella and... Um, as I've said all along, I feel that our industry just keeps getting more and more ruthless. And we look at, we've just retained the ashes and all the uh, media hype is about David Warner not making any runs. But we've got one of the best batsmen probably will ever see, um, unless you've seen Don Bradman. And David Warner's the one that we're talking about. It's, it's uh, disappointing that we're so negative um, in this country. Well, you just had breaking news now just uh, on the Herald Sun site that uh, John Worsfold uh, uh, will step down at the end of 2020 and Ben Rutten will take over. Now, they've just made their first final series and uh, that's a decision that's been made now and there's been a huge amount of speculation about Worsfold and, uh, this year and uh, you know, and Benny Rutten taking over. So that's just broken. So there's an example of how tough the industry is. Tex, just going on with what you just said, Rue and I talked about this last week. One of the things Don Pike said in his resignation is about how tough things are right now in this environment, going on from what you're saying. And he said the speculation has never been um, harder and more intense. And he said he fears, he he did say, didn't he? He said, I fear for young footballers now and coaches in the game about the scrutiny and and the way that you put under the microscope. Is that is that kind of what you're alluding to? I don't disagree. I feel the health and well being of players is is uh, there's gonna be a lot of strain on on players and, and coaches because it's just everyone needs a story and it doesn't and it's probably ninety percent of it will be negative where ten percent of the good stuff gets pushed to the side. It's uh, I'd love to see it change but I don't think it will. Just on that, I mean, we can't be naive. If I, as a commentator, if every week, you know, text, and this is an extreme example, but the siren goes and we say on Triple N, gee, that was a good game of footy. I really enjoyed that game. How it's going to get a bit be? ho-hum, isn't it? Yeah, you say how good would that be, but you're going to lose listeners. And, and, and if the front page of the paper said, gee, I really enjoyed that game of footy. But I mean, the, we are looking for stories all the time, aren't we? But if it is a good game of footy, what's wrong with you just saying it actually is a good game of footy? Why do you have to say, oh, well, let's pick our five worst players today or he was no good today? Why don't you say this was actually a genuine good game of footy and the contest was hot, the pressure was on, and geez, they kick well. But you like to read breaking news. You like to read headlines. Let's say it's not football. You you always read about gossip. I'm more of a glass half full guy, so I'd rather pump someone up than kick him down. All right. I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what what he had to say about the current state of the game. Yeah, it's a good discussion. I agree with him. Yeah.